Um, contenders. Soul Right and Giannis by Freddie Gibbs. Hug the Block by the game. <laughs> Half of it by Kanye. This other one, I'm going to save it. I'm going to save this other one. Uh, Cleo Rhapsody. Okay. Nas Beautiful Life. That's a really good song. I was about the other day. Song of the year for me. <laughs> it's 5 to 50. <laughs> really? By Benny the Butcher. <laughs> Listen, there's wow. something to be said wow. about energy, right? And as soon as well, the beat. For, well, for you, yes. Listen, from the intro to the beat to the hook that scares the shit out of me. With the woman talking about, I ran into Benny, and he had this going on. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that yo, just, I'm in, bro. Do you, think this, do you think song of the year is also, do you think it always correlates to your most played song of the year? Yes, but th- this is why. Okay. This is why. Uh, of my most, this is my most played non-bandana song of the year. <laughs> All my most played songs, there's like a few of them, they're on bandana or whatever. Um, Spotify will tell you that because of the the, the analytics or whatever, 5 to 50 on my repeat playlist that they curate, five to fifty is number one right now because I've been hearing wow. it even more lately. But like, just just so like, I don't always want to give it to the sort of most introspective thing. My my second place was actually "Beautiful Life" by Nas. Really that was song. where I was gonna go second. But listen, five to fifty, man. Like, I just can't stop listening to it because I've been in the gym, I've been going around. I'm I'm in an intense mood. You know what I'm saying? I got yeah. things I got things going on yeah. that 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 sort of that sort of have me coming back to this even more than 18 Wheeler, which is another song I that like I really like. A lot. But five to fifty was oh my god. I and, th- and and it needs to be said. Benny the Butcher killed all three of those verses. Flow, delivery, cadence, all that stuff. It was excellent. Beat perfect. The music video, hilarious. I actually what, haven't seen that. The <laughs> the video, the video is great. It's like it's like it's not very it's not very intricate. He's rapping. There's a caution tape there. The woman who's speaking yeah, in the, in the, is there. Yeah. West Side Gun is with him on a car, and he's like dripped out. He's just bumping his head, not even looking into the camera. It's funny. Typical, <laughs> typical gun stuff. West Side Gun, yo. <laughs> um, for me, there were some decent contenders. I, I Brian, I will take part of what Brian said in that. Uh, I tend to like songs that I tend to like songs that hit a theme. Or really speak to me in a way. I think that's what Bob LeBeau and J. Cole's verse on that was my verse of the year, song of the year last year. Um, I, I really, I, I, my contenders, I had, even though this didn't really speak to me, but I, Paul Mollif, mm. uh, Freddie Gibbs. Freddie Gibbs had a couple songs in the contenders for my song of the year. Paul Mollif was yeah. one of them. I put Soul Right and Giannis, yeah. Um, education was another one of them. Educa- see how good that um, album is. Edu- Freddie Gibbs' verse Education was also my contender for verse of the year. That was in my top Ooh. five. Um, and I'm glad, I'm glad that he did that in the, in the uh, Tiny Desk concert. Yeah. I think that was the first one. Um, Maya by by uh, Rhapsody also was up there Ooh, for Song of the Year for me. Different song for now. Um, the so, cra- uh, Kings I Met, uh, Crown for Kings, excuse me, Benny the Butcher mm. um, with Black Thought. Um, also, uh, Family and Loyalty, I was bumping that a lot. I really liked Ooh, that song. yeah. That was there. Versity or Contender. Versity or Contender too. But what it came to me was a song from a artist. I don't even think Brian's listened to this. Hmm. Um, but I, every year, I, I every year I find some new artist or something that like gets into me or breaks into. I hope, I hope you don't into, spoil into, the one that hip-hop. I'm going to bring up later. No, I doubt it. I highly doubt it. Um, the song, my song of the year, was by an artist out of the UK, actually rapper out of the UK, um, and his name is Dave. Oh, song okay. from his album called Psychodrama. The song is called Black. I thought it was a fantastic song. I know. I've heard of Dave. I haven't heard the music. Yet. Yo, really good, man. Okay. Really good. I, I'm going to check it out. Which, I'm going to check it out because uh, you'll see why later. Yeah. You'll see why later. <laughs> this touches on the theme. It's a song that talks about what it means to be black to him. Um, mm. And it really touches on racial and social inequalities that he's experienced uh, growing up in South London. Um, He said this. I wrote this this quote down that he said. About the song, yes. In the to the observer, he said this that track is my experience. Me being a South London black Nigerian, that's what I'm mainly basing it on. It's a good representation of what I associate with and everything I think. But I don't think that is universal for the whole black experience because there's too many different races and dynamics within the race of black. For a black person who's Senegalese, growing up in France or New York, Jamaican, that's a completely different relationship with being black and how you might be accepted in the culture or that world. Everyone's experience is different, especially black women and black men. I thought that was dope, but I do think there's overlap in things he said. Um, some of my bars I like from this song, the black of the berry, the sweeter the juice, a kid dies, the black of the killer, the sweeter the news. 
And if he's white, you give him a chance, he's ill and confused. If he's black, he's probably armed. You see him shoot. Mm. Yo. Yeah, I'm going to check that out. Dave's nice. This when song, does this come out? What part of the year? February, March. Oh, so so early. Wow. Early of the year. Missed that one. Um, Really good. I will get to this album later. Mm. Really good. Part of a really good album. Song I just really kept coming back to. I just think it's really thoughtful, really well done. When it comes to me for song of the year, kind of like you said, I need the verses to be good, the structure to be really good. It's really got to do when it hit me. Dave is an artist out of the UK that I really like. I had gotten to Laurel Carner a couple of years ago, also out the UK. UK's got some rappers right now that I think are, they. if you like the rapidy rap, uh, they yeah, got some true. rappers who rap who can make some songs. Dave and Laurel Carner salute to them. I like them. Uh, but that was my song of the year, Black by Dave. I, whether you're black or not, I think you can feel the song and think it's dope. 